Hi, my name is Des. Nice to meet you. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Thanksgiving because people like to act like it doesn't exist uh, after Halloween and I don't support that. Um, we should all celebrate holidays in order. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so, yeah. But also, like, to everyone that's, like, playing Christmas music right now, like, oh my gosh, Christmas, right now, you better not be posting on social media about, like, oh, here's my Thanksgiving plate. Like, I don't want to hear you say anything about Thanksgiving. Like, if you're going to act like Thanksgiving doesn't exist, like, you're not allowed to eat food, you're not allowed to go to your, see your family, like, you're not allowed to, like, no. No. You better not. You better act like it doesn't exist, just like you do when you be playing your Christmas music. Don't even. So... Exactly. <laughs> Why am I so passionate about that? Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Oh my gosh. Before I start, I'm so excited about my hair. I love it so much. It's braided in the back. Oh my gosh. Hide your mans. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Also, I wore this shirt because it's very fally, you know. Very fall-like. Also, I bought this shirt in the summer and wore it once and I almost died. Um. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> Question number one. I don't know why. Why? Why am I this way? Anyway, <laughs> um, what is your favorite Thanksgiving side dish? Uh, yams. I love candied yams. They're everything. They're so good. If they're not there at the Thanksgiving dinner, like, what's like? Is it even Thanksgiving? That's not there. You know what I mean? What is your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? This is a hard question because I have multiple, like, desserts that I look forward to. Like, I look forward to, like, banana pudding made from scratch, family recipe, it's everything. Um, I look forward to, like, pound cake and ice cream, which is simple, but, like, love it. I look forward to, like, apple pie and ice cream. I look forward to sweet potato pie. Also, fun fact, never in my life have I ever had pumpkin pie. Um... That's just my just my family just doesn't do that. We have sweet potato pie instead. I've never had pumpkin pie in my whole life. In fact, I once asked my mom what does pumpkin pie taste like and she said it was disgusting. So I don't know how I feel about pumpkin pie. Um But yeah. That's not really answering the question, but oh well. Anyway. <laughs> what does your ideal Thanksgiving outfit look like? Girl. What I need is a basic shirt that, like, I really don't really care about because, like, I'm going to probably spill food on it because, like, I'm an animal and I don't know how to control myself. So when I'm eating my food, I get food everywhere. Um, and then, like, some, some jeans that are, like, loose, like, really loose jeans because, like, you know, like, after eating, you know, like, four, four plates of food, you know, like, I'm going to need, like, a loose jean so that way, like, I'm not, like busting at the seams, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, loose jeans, some socks, you know, my feet get cold, shirt that I don't really care about, you know, sometimes my hair is done, but it's always put up in a bun, because, like, I don't need my hair getting all over in my food, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. What is your best Thanksgiving memory? Okay, I have a story. My mom might get mad for me telling this story, but hey, I'm still going to tell it because I tell this story like every Thanksgiving. Um, so back when I was a youngin, um, <laughs> before I moved, I used to live in Ohio. It's really cold, but yeah, I used to live in Ohio and I was, I don't know, I must have been like four or five and my mom was making sweet potato pies for Thanksgiving dinner as one does and she was making like four of them and my mom like put two pies in the oven took them out they were perfectly done like whatever she put another two in and then she took a nap and so me and my brother are like playing in the living room like la 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 because every time my mom takes a nap like we know like don't wake up our mom unless like like <laughs> mom takes a nap and she's like don't wake me up unless you're bleeding or there's a fire that's it that was my mom so we were just playing the like living room like watching tv whatever and then we see like black smoke come coming from the kitchen and we're like smells like something's burning um 
So we're like, uh, that could be a fire. So that's a reasonable, justifiable excuse to wake up our mom. So we knocked on the mom's door. And the thing was, I knew she was baking pies. Like, I knew that. So I bang on her door and I go, Mom, you're burning my sweet potato pies. Bang, 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 bang. And then she wakes up and takes them out and they're black like pitch black like you cannot save this pie like just throw it away like there's like there's no like scrape the burnt part off like no like it's burnt black through and through like this pie was like black like black black and <laughs> yeah and she ended up being like well and I was so mad at her I was like why did you burn my pie yeah See, I used to do this thing as a kid that all desserts were, like, mine. Like, I would already claim them as my desserts. And, like, I knew it was for, like, the whole family. But, like, no, it was my sweet potato pie. And I still do that. So I was like, why would you burn my pies? Mom, why would you burn my pies? And she's like, they're not your pies. They're, they're for everyone. I'm like, no, 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 no. They're mine. Why would you burn them? Yeah. And I tell that story every year. Um... Uh, and every single year, I'm like, try not to burn the pies, mom. She hasn't burned the pies since that moment. Like, that was the only time she's ever burned pies, like, pitch black like that. But, yeah. And that was my favorite Thanksgiving memory. <laughs> Least favorite Thanksgiving dish. Oh, this is a hard one. I would say it's either green beans. I... <laughs> okay, let me explain myself a little bit. I like vegetables. I have never been the type of person that's like, ew, vegetables? I like vegetables, but I like very specific vegetables and when they're cooked in very specific ways. I like green beans, but I like green beans, this is gonna sound so weird, I like green beans when they're unseasoned and like crunchy. You like, you know when like you make green beans and then like they boil them so much to where they're basically like mushy, like baby food, like I hate that texture, that texture, like when I eat green beans with that texture, like it makes me want to die. Like I hate it so much. It's like, why am I eating baby food? I did not ask for mush. I asked for green beans. So yeah, and at Thanksgiving, it's like a thing to like make the green beans until they're basically mush and you're eating baby food. Like I hate it. It like, it just reminds me of like the consistency of like throw up. Like it makes me want to die. It's so nasty. Anyways, so I don't like green beans or greens or like collard greens. Hate those. So disgusting. Nasty. Never liked them. Um, stuffing. Hate it. Disgusting. Never liked it. Don't want it. Um, um, for a while I used to not like turkey. But recently I've been liking turkey more than ham. Which has been interesting. Um, pecan pie. Okay. I am an avid believer that like nuts should not be in dessert. Like no. Like keep your pecans. Keep pecans? 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 Keep your peanuts. Keep your almonds. I don't want them. Don't let them touch my dessert. Like whoever thought, do you know what would make this dessert great? Putting nuts on it? Like no. It's disgusting. Stop it. Like, so like pecan pie is like, that's literally disgusting. I do not want that. Like, ew. Um, so yeah, I, I, I also hate pecan pie with a burning passion in my soul. Um, I, oh, I also hate lemon cake. Anything lemon flavored is disgusting. Why are you doing this? No one asks for like lemon flavored cake. I don't want that. The only lemon flavored thing that I want is lemonade. That's it. And lemonade is a summer drink. This has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. I'm getting angry. Can you tell I'm getting actually angry? <laughs> Anyways. Do you have any quirky Thanksgiving traditions? Um, no. <laughs> like, I think that my family's Thanksgiving is pretty basic. Pretty go to someone's house, eat food, say things that you're grateful for, talk to the family, go home. Um, yeah. So that, yeah, no. Where do you and your family usually celebrate Thanksgiving? Okay, it has rotated this year and last year it was at my house, which makes me angry. Because that means I have to like clean the whole house like before and after. It like stresses me out so much and then I have to help my mom cook. And I'm like, why mom? Why can't we just have it at my Aunt Gwen's house like every year? Like why do we have to do this to ourselves? I don't want this. Ugh. Mom, I know you're watching this. I don't like Thanksgiving at our house. I don't want it. Next year, no. <laughs> <laughs>
What do you love most about Thanksgiving? Okay, I know everyone is gonna be like, Oh my gosh, I love like spending time like with my family. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, I love to like hang out with like my cousins and like my aunts and my uncles. Like, mm -hmm. like family time. No, that's not me. My favorite thing about Thanksgiving is the food. Honestly, I like I love my family, but like I'm here for the food. Honestly, the family time is Christmas. Christmas is for family time. Thanksgiving is for food. <clears throat> and it just so happens that my family is also around me while I'm eating this food. What do you think has changed most since the first Thanksgiving? Well, when they say the first Thanksgiving, do they mean like the first Thanksgiving, the first Thanksgiving I've ever remembered or do they mean like the first Thanksgiving of like back with like the pilgrims or whatever? Um, if it's something like the pilgrims or whatever, I, like, first of all, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving for that reason. Like, I, like, in my brain, Thanksgiving has literally nothing to do with, like, America or, like, thank, like the pilgrims or whatever. Like, it literally has nothing to do with that. Um, I honestly, like, from that standpoint, like, I feel like not much has changed. I know when you're in, like, third grade, they told you that, like, the first Thanksgiving, it was all, like, rainbows and smiles and, like, the colonists were like best friends with the Native Americans, but like in actuality, like they killed the majority of Native Americans like with diseases and like just by murdering them and like they stole their land. Like, I mean, nothing has really changed. America is still built on stolen land. Um, America is still like systematically oppressing people that are not white. Like, what do you want from that? Like, you know, like, I don't know. Um, but from like the first Thanksgiving I remember standpoint, is <laughs> I don't know I've actually I actually don't remember the first Thanksgiving I've ever like I, I don't know in fact I don't really remember a Thanksgiving that like was it that was past like last year like I don't even remember the Thanksgiving from two years ago um so I, I'm gonna say not much has changed um I mean, I guess, like, because the majority of the kids now are older, like, they're either, like, full-blown adults or they're, like, old enough to, like, actually have serious conversations. I believe the conversations are a little bit more, like, matured and serious rather than, like, what do you want for Christmas? <laughs> um, but yeah, next thing. Also, oh my gosh, I have to pee so bad, but, like, I'm about to finish this video, so, like, I'm just gonna hold it. Okay, and last question. What are you thankful for? Um, I'm thankful for my mom, for my brother, for my aunt. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm thankful for my whole family. I'm thankful for my friends. I really, oh my gosh, every time I start talking about friends, I like want to cry because like, I love them so much. But like, I'm really thankful for them. I have been through some tough times in my life and my friends like really, really helped me get through that. You know what I mean? Um, and honestly, this is something that I don't think I've ever said before, but I'm actually really, really thankful for, like, the admin at my school. Hey, I know you guys are watching this because I made you all subscribe to my channel. What's up? Um, I'm really thankful for them all. I feel like now that I'm a junior in high school and, like, I'm going to apply for college next semester, <laughs> I want to die. I'm stressed out. Um, I've been, like, the... Oh my gosh, my words. I can't speak English. I realize like the importance of having really really good teachers have like hit me and like I've already understood like why having a teacher is important but like I, I understand it even more now like okay so they're good at explaining whatever material you're supposed to be learning but like a teacher that can like actually sit down and like talk to you about like real stuff like that is a good teacher like those are the teachers that are gonna like change your life you know what I mean I'm also thankful for just for like being able to live in a house and being able to like have clothes or like being able to even go to school being able to like you know like things that people take for granted i realized that can you tell i'm talking fast because i have to pee um i realized that there are a lot of people that are a lot less fortunate than i am and although i am by no means like killing it like in my a thousand million dollar house like with a mansion and like a car like i'm not saying that like I'm up here, you know what I mean? But I am saying that, like, I'm aware that, like, there are some things that I have that other people may may not have, and I realize that I take those things from gra for granted, and I really do hope that the people that don't have the things that I have, like, basic necessities, like, accessible water or, like, food, I really do hope that, like, 
we as like humans do things to like help those people and honestly I mean what can I do I'm just a stupid 16 year old that makes YouTube videos like there's not much I can really do like I don't have a job I don't have any money like you know I just I just hope that like when I actually am like able to do something like it will like help people like yeah anyway I'm gonna stop getting mushy now because like I really have to pee like I'm about to pee myself like pee myself story time number two um so like leave a comment down below like tell me what you're thankful for like if you're one of those people that like play Christmas music like before Thanksgiving has happened like don't you dare comment what you're thankful of just go just go just go to your Mariah Carey like shut up uh, um and I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving break uh, though I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving then dude I hope you have some amazing food this week Hey, um, yeah, also I feel like I have lipstick on my teeth, but like I, I don't feel like checking, so if I have lipstick on my teeth, like, oh well, um, cool, bye, gotta pee, um, oh wait, oh my gosh, wait, oh my gosh, I'm a terrible YouTuber, I also forgot to ask you to subscribe and like click the thumbs up button, like, if you want to hear more about, like, things and like, whatever, like my life, like, whatever, like, I'm a narcissist, like, um, like, I'm a sociopath. Have you seen Shay Dawson's DACA series? All YouTubers are sociopaths and narcissists, so... Yeah. Uh, please subscribe. Like, please, this is all I have. Wow, that sounds so sad. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Mom. I'm kidding. I'm happy, Mom. Cool. Bye. Gotta go. Hey. How you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I lied. I'm dying inside.